Let's talk about mechanical advantage. This little trainer transformer only weighs 175 pounds. But unless you're Eddie Hall, you're not gonna pick that up, slam it on the bolts out of your hooks. But with mechanical advantage, I can lift it with one arm. So what I've done here to create a visual, I put a scale in series, if you will. So I wanna add parts of rope and demonstrate how adding a piece of rope at a time lessens the weight on the lift. So the scale's at zero, two parts of rope. Let's see what it runs up to before it breaks it off the ground. That says 53 pounds. Now I've got three parts of rope. Let's see how much I have to pull when I've got three parts rigged in. I'm holding it stable at 42 pounds. All right, four parts of rope. Look at there. With four parts of rope, I'm only lifting 15 pounds. It settles out at 15 pounds. So I just wanted to do this little experiment here to see how much relief you got in your lifting force by adding more parts of rope. Obviously, it gets a lot deeper than this. There's friction in your block, you know, several other factors. I just wanna do a simple little experiment to demonstrate it and kind of see some proof. And I was talking about friction. You know, friction plays a big factor. I was using Buckingham blocks. This is a, this is a set of buck riggers. They're uh, all aluminum blocks. There's very little friction. If you're using like plastic handline blocks or wood blocks, there's a whole lot more friction involved there. So you're pulling against your block. Even though you're adding a block, you're not getting as much relief as you would be if you're adding blocks like this. So I thought it was pretty cool to see. We started with 175 pounds. You know, that's settled out and holding. Obviously, your initial pull, you'll have a little more. But with four parts of rope, we took 175 pounds down to 15 pounds. And this is a very simple little demonstration. All I was wanting to do was show how adding parts of rope and pulleys creates a mechanical advantage. We can get so deep into working load limits, different types of ropes, different kinds of rigging. We'll save all that for another day. This is more than anything me out here experimenting because I wanted to see exactly how much adding one part of rope would reduce the pulling force.